I started off on a clinical trial. It was a combination of Olympta and cisplatin. I was on that for a couple of months and then I had surgery which was deemed inoperable at the time which then meant I had to be on a, I had to go on another chemo and radiation combination treatment which lasted throughout the rest of the year. The doctor was very good about communicating and the, and they what side effects I would expect to have and he also was very good at prescribing certain medications that would help with nausea. I also sought to get acupuncture during this time. That was one thing that I asked him about and he said, sure, go for it. A lot of his patients had done it. And I don't know if it helped or hindered. I mean, I felt bad during most of the treatment, but I remember actually I would go in for acupuncture treatments right after I was infused and I would actually fall asleep during the process and if the acupuncturist didn't have a patient following, she'd just let me sleep there sometimes for two, three hours because I was so fatigued from it. It wasn't the best nine months of my life, but I endured it and I got through it. I did lose my hair, but it, and it was funny, I was actually down at a cabin with some friends. We were away and I went and were getting up and walked into the bathroom and, and just brushed my hair and all of a sudden there was a big clump of hair. And I came out from going to the bathroom and I had shaved my head while I was in there. And so everybody in the room saw me go in with hair and came out looking like Mr. Clean. I experienced nausea and I forced myself to eat. One of the things that my oncologist stressed was you want to make sure you keep lots of protein in your body. So I kept a high protein diet even though I wasn't exactly what you would call hungry. The major issues around during my chemo treatments were, were nausea and, um, and fatigue. It was, the fatigue was, was, was the worst. I mean, I, was, I had almost zero energy and I spent most of the time sleeping. Whenever I, whenever I went in for an infusion, I could pretty much plan on be sleeping for at least the next three days. I was given supplements and I was given anti-nauseous drugs to be taking during, during the chemo treatment. And I did take them and I believe they did help. But I remember one, I had to take steroids, which was not positive, but they, again, it's one of those things, you know, you're, you don't really know what is working well or what's not working well. You feel bad, you're feeling ill, you're feeling nauseous, you're feeling fatigued. And that hopefully some of these drugs are making it feel less so. And again, you know, you get through it. What I tell people about the suffering aspect of, of the side effects is that you'll get through it. I got through it. Just about everybody that I know gets through it. It's not the best nine months of my life, trust me, but it wasn't the worst. I had shingles prior to my cancer diagnosis, and I can tell you one thing, that was far worse than going through cancer treatment by far. So there are worse things. Uh, it's not pleasant. I wouldn't want to do it again. I hope I don't have to do it again, but you will get through it. and. Take it a day at a time. I remember I had a calendar that told me how many days I was going to be going through treatment and it was several months and every day that I came back from treatment I crossed the date off and I would think I've got one less day to go and that got me through it. I felt like I was in control of, of, of myself and, 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 the, and my treatment. One of the things that I did was to make sure that I did something positive for myself while I was in treatment, and that would be either get a pedicure, a manicure, a facial, a massage, acupuncture, something where I was getting human touch. I felt that was really, really important, just something to make me feel better in that regard. And I believe it helped. I still felt, you know, fairly crummy during, during my infusion days, but, and I don't know what it would have felt like had I not done those, but I do think they helped.